We often have to climb many hills, overcome many obstacles, one at a time, while we keep the bigger vision in our head and heart. Unlock possibilities by changing your mindset. You will expand what's possible for you, for the ones around you, for the world. You're moving into a land of both blind spots and learning, of things and ideas. You just crossed over into the Mindset Zone. Join your guide, Anna Malikia, founder of Solo Biz Academy, the director of education for Book Yourself Solid and a PhD in psychology. The show you are about to listen is backed by popular demand from the Mindset Zone Archive Vault. To get all new episodes, make sure you subscribe via your favorite podcast app and visit mindset.zone. Yes, instead of .com, it's .zone. There you can find the episode archive, show notes, and other amazing resources, including how to four times your success so you can work smarter not harder, and learn how to leverage your talents to make a bigger impact while enjoying the process, all at Mindset.Zone. Hi, and I'm Likian here. In episode 26 of this podcast, The Mindset Zone, the topic was, do people really change? And there I spoke about the Greek philosopher called Heraclitus, who said, no man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river or he is not the same man. So no man ever steps in the same river twice. And this was his his way of saying that everything is in a constant flow. Everything is always changing. And I thought about this quote when I was watching a short video from Martha Beck. If you are not familiar with Martha Beck, look her up. She's a, an amazing writer and a, a wonderful, amazing life coach. And in this video that I'm going to play here and put on the show notes because it's available on YouTube, she shared in a very short way her strategy to deal with major life transitions because she's answering questions and one of the questions is how to deal with major life transitions. And I love the way that Martha begins with the setting up of the stage and the setting up the perspective that all life is transitory. We are in a constant transitions in our lives. And once we accept this, that all life is transitory, we can better deal with unexpected changes. Because when life throws us a curveball, we really have to have some tools to deal with it. And it's really important, even vital, to be able to press the pause button on those situations, to be able to see the situation from a wider perspective, like to see the big picture. And this is most of the time, I will even dare saying always, easier said than done. And often we need support to be able to do this, to be able to distance ourselves from that situation that usually hurts and is really giving us loads of pain and be able to see it from the big, wider perspective. And we can call this taking the eagle view. So the eagle and the mouse, the 
eagle view is like that wider perspective, the bird's eye view that enable us to see the bigger picture and decide what is really important. And so, uh, and I think most people, uh, at least the foresight, they realize this is important. And some people are able to do this step, but this is not enough because we have to return to hurt. And like the small mouse, the eagle and the mouse, first we go as an eagle and then we come to earth and become like that small mouse. We have to walk one step at a time. And as Martha Beck says, sometimes we have to reduce things to very, very small bites. One day at a time, in some cases, even that is too overwhelming. So we have to one hour at a time, one minute at a time, and even sometimes going in smaller, smaller bites, just as one breath at a time. So let's, before I speak more, let me play uh, the audio of this video. And like I said before, if you go to the show notes of this episode to mindset.zone forward slash 39, you will be able there to see the video. Today's question is from Marianne, and she asks, when you're making a life change, a big one, like quitting a job or uh, starting a new career or selling your house, even when the big picture seems clear, the day-to-day -day process of actually going through the transition can be anything but smooth. Doubt, setbacks, second thoughts, fear, advice on how to make major transitions. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is that all of life is a major transition. One of my favorite authors, the Buddhist nun Pema Chodron, wrote about going to her guru and saying, you know, I'm moving and I'm going through a divorce and all these things are happening, but once I get past this transition, I'll be fine. And he just looked at her and smiled and he said, all of life is transitory. When you accept that, you'll be fine. So everything's a big transition. So how do we cope with it? Um, the first thing is that, as you said, Marianne, you get the big picture clear. And it sounds like you really do know what you want to do. You're just worried about the obstacles directly in your path. I call this eagle vision versus mouse vision. So when you're making a big change, you go up, 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 uh, and ask the big questions of your life. Like, how do I want to spend the next 10 years? What do I want my legacy to be on earth? Big, big questions. And you can set your course. You can say, no, I really want this new career or I really need to get out of this relationship or whatever it is. Once you've set your course, you drop down into what I call mouse view. And what the eagle can see clearly, the mouse has to climb across and it can be incredibly difficult. So what you do at that point is you think like a mouse. You only think, you don't think one day at a time, like the AA slogan, that's way too much. You think five minutes at a time, one minute at a time. Sometimes you just put your feet in motion. You know you have to say, go to the courthouse and, you know, sue the man who hit you with his car or whatever. And you're terrified. So you just start going breath by breath. You just set out to do it. And I, I have a little saying that comes from a song I know called, breathe in, breathe out, no fear, no doubt. And once you're set and you know what you're doing is right for you, that's how you do it. One breath at a time. And then you reward yourself big time for doing the scary things. So good luck getting through this transition. But remember, everybody, transitions are everything. Once we can handle that, we'll be fine. I love this eagle and mouse analogy. Uh, because it really articulates the paradox we have to really embrace to thrive and evolve in our lives. And I love how Martha Beck articulates that. So I really had to play this video here. And yes, we have to be able to see that big picture. 
uh, to be that eagle that soars above and see with clarity where she wants to go. Yet, we cannot fly to our goal. We have to come down to earth and walk toward it. We often have to climb many hills, overcome many obstacles, one at a time, while we keep the bigger vision in our head and heart. So, in practical terms, we have to transition as needed between an eagle and a mouse. Love to hear your thoughts about this as always. And remember that you can access the show notes of this episode by going to mindset.zone. So instead of dot com is dot zone for slash the number of the episode 39. So mindset.zone for slash 39. Or to keep it simple, just go to mindset dot zone forward slash info there you can listen to every episode of this podcast access the show notes learn how to subscribe this in podcast via itunes and of course join the mindset zone community in facebook or just email me and you even can get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial of audible.com. I really love audible.com. So if you never tried it before, if you like podcasts, you are going to love audible.com. Just go there and try it or go to mindset.zone forward slash audiobooks that will take you there. And you can start by downloading a free book from Martha Beck. <laughs> I really recommend. She, she's an um, incredible uh, person and inspiring um, uh, in her writing and the way that uh, she articulates uh, very important uh, things that... Uh, um, I really love to follow her work in terms of my own personal development. So mindset.zone forward slash info. It's the place to go. And as always, I'm grateful that you cross over into the mindset zone. Expand what's possible for you, for the ones around you, for the world. Thank you for listening, and remember to visit Mindset.Zone. Yes, instead of .com, is .zone. There you can find all the episodes and other amazing resources. As always, I am so grateful that you have crossed over into the Mindset Zone. Spend what's possible for you, for the ones around you, for the world. <laughs>